Hi friends! Welcome back to Sells Like Hotcakes video course. In this short video, we're going to cover one of the most important fears and questions that you might have when it comes to selling on Amazon and working with China. What if Amazon will be dominated by Chinese sellers? What if Chinese factories take over Amazon completely and leave no room for us white labeling guys? And why even Chinese factories need us if they can just sell directly on Amazon and keep all the profits? I feel you. A lot of things to be concerned about and a lot of worries and questions like this you might have. During the last years, Amazon has been investing a lot of time into educating Chinese suppliers and investing time and money into China to help Chinese factories and brands sell directly on Amazon. Of course, Amazon is interested in getting more quality Chinese sellers in Amazon. There are a lot of articles and blog posts that Chinese factories will be quickly taking over Amazon so they don't need white labeling people anymore. They will just sell directly and keep all the profits. All these doom and gloom articles point that the sky is falling and it might be too late for you to start your own white labeling business. Let me just tell you this, guys. This is simply not true. To be clear, yes. Chinese people and Chinese sellers are allowed to sell on Amazon. And in fact, many of them do, and some even do it successfully. However, this is really, really far from taking over Amazon. And there are a lot of serious reasons that I'm going to cover for you in this video why this will not happen very soon. You have at least five or maybe even seven years head start ahead of the Chinese sellers on Amazon. If you have this course, you're already many steps ahead of any Chinese factory that is going to sell directly. Let me just quickly cover all of your possible questions and worries on why Chinese sellers will not dominate Amazon. The biggest markets for Chinese sellers currently, you can see it's besides Amazon, also Wish, AliExpress, eBay, and Lazada. Yes, Chinese are allowed to sell on Amazon, and a lot of them do it successfully. However, like I said, you don't need to worry about this because right now, this is a golden time for you to start. You have at least five years or maybe more head start ahead of Chinese sellers and here's why. The main problem and the main issue that is stopping Chinese factories from selling directly on Amazon is the need for risk and the need for capital to invest money into creating their own stock. To understand this, guys, you need to really understand the Chinese mentality. The Chinese mentality is about taking the safest way possible. Chinese people really don't like to take any risk. If they want to sell directly on Amazon, they will have to take a lot of risk and most factories do not like to take this kind of risk. First of all, they would need to invest money into creating their own stock of products because they don't keep any supplies in their factories. If anybody is placing an order with a factory, they need to use the money to contact other sub-suppliers and purchase stock of supplies to create your merchandise. If you're ordering umbrellas, my factory will just go out to the cloth factories and purchase a big amount of cloth for my umbrella specifically. They don't just keep a lot of cloth in their factory for many reasons. First of all, such cloths can deteriorate because of the time, weather, or dust. Second of all, the colors that one buyer likes, another one can like different colors, so they never keep a lot of cloth in stock in their factory. If you see such sellers on Amazon directly, it's only if, for example, part of the order was canceled or something didn't work out and they just have some stock left that they need to get rid of. They will not invest their own money into risk of sending their own merchandise overseas because they cannot guarantee that it will be sold at all. Or, it will be sold fast enough and they always need cash flow and capital to purchase supplies for future orders. This is the real reason why Chinese factories don't sell directly on Amazon and they rather like to get money prepaid by us white labeling guys. We pay up front at least 30%, then the Chinese factory is using that money to purchase supplies and start production for you. I hope that makes sense. This is the real reason why they don't sell directly and will not sell directly anytime soon in such mass amounts that they will dominate it. The second reason is also obvious. The lack of English skills and lack of marketing experience in the Western world. To understand this better, you really need to visit China and the factory at least once. Imagine, 
A factory in China is usually a 200 people operation. They have 150 workers, around 20 salespeople, several managers, a director, and several engineers. To have English skills, they will need to hire a translator or teach their salespeople to speak English. And this is a lot of investment for a small factory. A lot of factories have salespeople with very basic English skills, and this is obviously not enough to have a real marketing experience to the Western English speaking world. They can communicate with you using basic English, and this is just fine. But they are not ready to risk investing in hiring professional translators or paying their own salespeople to get education in marketing in the Western world because, obviously, this is just too much of an expense for a small factory with just 200 people. For this reason, always their English skills are very limited and only really big Chinese brands can afford to sell on Amazon directly and prepare quality marketing and listings. Another risk that Chinese sellers have, if they want to sell directly, is legal risks and also requirements to invest in certificates, opening the company for selling on Amazon, and things like this. Guys, if a Chinese seller is selling through you, they don't have any liabilities at all. They can violate all sorts of copyrights. They don't care about patents. It's all your requirement to check all of that because for them, they're not liable. They just do what you ask and they don't ask too many questions. If you want to violate copyrights, they will violate without asking any questions. They are not liable for anything. But if they want to sell directly on Amazon, they will be liable for everything. That's why they don't want to take, again, this kind of risk because they need to pay their factory workers. And they cannot risk losing all of their merchandise because someone blocked their listing or because they just simply don't have American certificates or things like that and their stuff gets turned around at the customs. This is just too much risk for the factory. The next thing that a lot of white labeling guys worry about is profit margins. They think that if the factory is going to sell directly, they will get amazingly low shipping fees and amazing huge profit margins. The truth is their profit margins are not that big. The factory is making less than $1 on every $5 umbrella unit that you are ordering. So you can see their profit margins are rather low. Plus, the shipping rates that you are getting are exactly the same as the Chinese factory will get because obviously you're using the same providers. There's just nothing for you to worry about. Plus, the risk of investing in their own stock is just too high for the factory. Nobody can guarantee that their merchandise will sell. That's why they would rather prefer a guaranteed 500 unit produced for you with a prepaid amount instead of risking sending stuff overseas and just hoping it will sell. The next big challenge for Chinese sellers is understanding how to promote the product if they sell it on Amazon overseas and how to create a real profitable launch that we teach in this course. Guys, there are a lot of other challenges related to this because, for example, Facebook and several other services of social media are simply banned in China. Chinese people don't have Facebook accounts, and they rely heavily on Chinese social media instead of European or American social media. So they simply don't have the experience of how to promote on Facebook and how to stage a successful launch. Yeah, I know. They can get VPN and other tricks that require high IT knowledge, and most regular factories will not invest in having a special IT guy just working on VPN to build Facebook pages. It's too risky. I guess this is really obvious. I will teach you in our course how you can stage a successful launch. Again, a lot of people say that Chinese people lack innovation. Why do they say Chinese people lack innovation? This is because the factories rely on the customer's feedback about products and they don't risk inventing their own products. To understand this, again, you need to simply understand the mentality. For Chinese people, safer means copy what works. Instead of risking creating new products, they just copy what already works because they know this will sell and there will be a demand for it. Chinese people lack innovation not because they're not smart, and this is ridiculous to even say that, they lack innovation because it's safer to copy what works. I hope this makes sense. For this reason, Chinese sellers will not dominate Amazon in mass quantities. 
Of course, there are a lot of Chinese factories that invent their own products. Amazing Chinese companies like DJI, creating phantom drones, took over the world by storm by creating the best drone in the world. If you think the Chinese cannot innovate, it's simply not true because they've created amazing things as well. But generally speaking, in mass quantities, this will not happen because most small factories will simply just copy what works instead of trying to risk creating their own. The next problem is with the lack of understanding of design and style requirements for the Western world consumers. Most Chinese brands struggle with poor packaging and branding. They just don't understand the importance of quality packaging. They don't invest much into printing glossy and expensive-looking packages like Apple does, for example. Most of the smaller factories think that it's just not important to create quality packaging. That's why, mostly, their packaging looks terrible for Western world consumers who are used to great quality packaging. Then again, it's lack of English-speaking customer service. Like I told you, if you have a small factory, trust me, it will never spend money hiring a special person who will just sit and answer Amazon customer emails. Such companies will have a lot of refunds and problems. This also creates the problem of bad reviews, refunds, customer complaints, and poor listings with no reviews. For example, let me show you just a couple of listings to give you an idea. Take a look. I cannot guarantee if it's a Chinese seller, but most likely it is. This is the listing of flying fish. Super tiny image right here. Yes, it's really tiny. No joke. I couldn't make this up. Really. Just one tiny image that is just too small to be here. There's no bullet points or anything else, and there's just a title. This was the listing, and it's not even available right now on sale. I don't even understand how it got in my search results. Or another one. This is a little bit better, but again, look at this. Just one terrible blurred image, then super short and boring bullet points, then you see one and a half star customer reviews. Tons of complaints, and you see it says ships and sold from HUNC. It's my wild guess that this is some sort of Chinese seller. Of course, I don't know for sure. I'm just giving you the first example I found. They're struggling with quality marketing. They don't know how to create great bullet points. They don't understand the importance of creating good videos, and most important, they can't provide quality customer service. They're receiving a lot of refunds. Poor one-star reviews. They didn't invest any money into creating quality customer service. I hope this makes sense. I'm not saying that all Chinese listings are bad. Of course, you'll find great Chinese listers and big companies who invest a lot of money into creating quality marketing. But if you think that this happens in mass amounts and that they're going to dominate, this cannot be further from the truth. Yes, there are a lot of big companies from China who will be having great listings and great sales, but in general, most average, medium, and small factories will simply prefer working through us white labeling guys. For this reason, I'm telling you that this is an amazing time for you to get started with a white labeling business. It's not late. The timing could not be better. With the new Amazon review policies. It will be even harder for poor listings with fake reviews to get ranked, and easier for you to be noticed and launched. Moreover, the quality standards are different for Asian markets and USA and European Union. It's simply easier for Chinese factories to sell on marketplaces like AliExpress or via white labeling clients. On AliExpress, the quality standards are pretty low because most people don't require any certificates and things like this. A lot of Chinese sellers also sell on eBay and Asian markets like Thailand or other markets, so they're not interested to sell on Amazon, where Amazon can require a lot of certificates and things like this. To wrap it up, guys, I hope it made a lot of sense that you don't need to worry about Chinese sellers dominating Amazon anytime soon. You have at least five to seven years head start ahead of them. You have this course. You have your marketing skills. You have a great understanding of how the Western world works. What European and American customers like to buy, what kind of packages they like, so you really have a solid head start, and this course will even increase your chances to win. Don't miss the golden time of Amazon because the golden time for you to start is right now.
I hope this video helped you understand that you're really ahead of the Chinese sellers and you don't need to see them as competitors. You need to work with them. You need to find suppliers. You need to treat the factory as your friend. You need to order from China and sell successfully on Amazon. The time for you to start is now. So let's do it. Follow my course and prepare to be amazed.